Hello everyone and welcome to today's Destiny video. Today we are doing the Daily Hero which is the Shrine of Oryx with the Light Switch modifier. So obviously you get helium filaments and some marks for this. So uh, I'm going to show you my loadout quickly. So I'm using the Devil You Know again because it's one of my favourite guns in the game. Um, the LDR 5001 and then Secret Handshake as a backup. And then I'm using my Exodus Plan um, Solar 3 in the shell rocket launcher and I'm also using my gunslinger class today so let's jump right in I will see you when I get down to the moon okay so once you get down to the moon you just want to get on your sparrow there we go and then go straight into the hellmouth so the entrance to the hellmouth and um, you can pretty much ignore all these guys they don't really matter let's do this little hole we're pretty much there oops <laughs> made them angry let's go so, in this mission, there'll be loads of Fallen and Hive in this area. If we're quick enough, we can literally dodge everything. So, we're going to try and do that now. On our first try, we'll try and do that. Um, just bear in mind that you might just get unlucky and not make it all the way. You can just jump through here, remember. There we go. Pass the servitor, jump in the edge, try and dodge, dodge all the bullets. I came out quite unscathed during that, so we'll do the same here. Jump over all this. There we go. Obviously, if you're using um, Blade Dancer, you can just go in biz for pretty much all of that. Well, that goes without saying with every mission, really. So in this little area, we've got to kill the Baron. So where is he? He is. Where is he? Oh, we're being hunted. Oh, there he is, look. Let's kill him. There we go, he's dead. Now we can progress to the next area. And we can pretty much skip past all these guys. Unless you want to kill them. Unless you've got bounties to kill them, then go ahead and kill them. But this is a tutorial on how to finish the daily heroic as efficiently as possible. And this is how to do it as efficiently as possible. Okay, good one. Okay, here we go. So we're in, I think I this is like, get into, the, get into the end now, so. Um, we're going to be skipping past all this as well, well, attempting to. This is, this is just how I usually run this mission. So obviously we're getting battered down by some guys here. But we should be fine, we should be fine. As you can see, I just ran past all of them without even going into red. This is one of the easy missions to skip through. Not because there's little enemies, because there's quite a few enemies still, but because the enemies don't really care that much that you're there because they're all busy fighting Fallen, so. And the Fallen are busy fighting the Hive. So it makes it easier. Just remember some Hive Knights right here. There we go. Just jump over them. And we're away. Just bear in mind this little area here gets a little bit extreme with the Hallowed Wizard. You can skip past it again though, so. Again, I'm doing that now. You just got to time your jumps right. If you time your jumps right, if you hear the, hear the guns firing, then you jump, and then you'll hit where your feet were. So, don't jump at any time. Just jump when you hear the guns. Now, at this bit, um, we're going to run around the left-hand side here. We've almost completely kept a sprint this whole thing. So, we do want to kill this ogre, just because it's an ogre. Why wouldn't you want to kill it? Whoops. In fact, we really need to move because these thrall are going to murder us because it's in the light switch. What me? There's thrall everywhere. There we go. So just beware of the thrall. They will hurt you if you don't um, get aware of them coming, so I'll just kill all the acolytes. They aren't going to melee you, so. Unless you get really, really close, which is really, really retarded. So once you've killed all the acolytes in this area, um, sorted out your ammo and all of that jazz, you want to activate this. And then I would suggest jumping on one of the spires. Now, if I'm using a shotgun, which I'm going to swap. To no, I'll, I'll wait for the shotgun. If 
you're using a shotgun, then I'd suggest going to the closest one to it. Um, I'm going to go to the second closest one. Just depends on how comfortable you feel, really. As soon as that door opens, by the way, you want to throw a grenade in because all the mobs inside are not immune. So, I'm going to do that. Oh, all that heavy. Ow. What waste. So, I'm going to throw a few rockets at him as soon as he's ready. Yep, he's ready. I'm just going to fire at his brain. See, if you snipe him in the face, he will get stunned. <laughs> what a way to go. So that is it, pretty much. Um, you want to grab your ammo and all that jazz, so. Um, also, you want to put any guns that you want leveling on before you carry on with this mission. So you put any guns right now that you want leveling, and then once you've done that, start shooting the actual Shrine of Oryx. And that is a mission complete. So, if you found this mission entertaining, or useful in any way, please do like it and share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye everybody. Or king. Well, not anymore. Whatever it is, it's still out there.